All right, class, for Halloween, we're gonna watch Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, Danny, let me know if you need to be excused. Why would I need to be excused? Uh, I thought Christians didn't read Harry Potter. Sold 500 million copies. You think some of us didn't read it? What's that? Some Christians don't, and I get it, but, but I think it's a great story, and the books actually have a lot of Christian themes. Huh. Examples, please. The overall battle between good and evil, Voldemort is basically a Satan figure that not everyone believes exists, reminds me of today. Bible verses appear in the books. Uh, the Chamber of Secrets is essentially a retelling of the legend of St. George, and Harry literally dies and resurrects in Book 7. Rowling said she didn't want to talk too much about her faith because it might give away the end. So you can look past all the witchcraft. If the series is making you interested in the occult, you should avoid it. But I see the Potter series following in the tradition of all great fairy tales that tell us something about ourselves and the world and echoes what guys like Lewis and Tolkien call the true myth, God with us, that really happened. Uh, well then, anyone else who was offended by J.K. Rowling for any other reason may be excused at this time. 